Hey everybody, Paul Lake here with another physics problem solved. Um, we've got uh, a problem here that involves con the constant velocity uh, model for motion. We're not dealing with acceleration in this problem. So this is kind of an early in the first semester kind of problem. Let's read the problem. Destiny is uh, eating lunch at her favorite cafe when her friend Jada calls and says she wants to meet her. Jada is calling from a city 55 miles away and wants to meet Destiny somewhere between the two locations. Jada says uh, she will start driving right away, but Destiny needs 10 minutes because that's how Destiny is. She needs 10 minutes to finish her lunch before she can begin driving. Jada begins to drive at 65 miles an hour, whereas Destiny usually averages about 75. Ignore acceleration and uh, assume that the highway is a straight line. So that's just like, we're gonna simplify this. How many minutes will Jada be driving before she meets Destiny? And um, how many miles will Destiny have traveled uh, when they meet? And here, look, notice that time is measured in minutes. So we're gonna, now this is a, a fairly common type of problem that you'll see. And sometimes it'll even have acceleration in it, you know, and. Um, but where one of our actors, uh, in this case, um, Destiny, is not going to start motion at the same time that the other actor is, in this case, Jada. So Jada's going to start moving right away, and Destiny's just going to sit there for 10 minutes. So, and then, uh, then uh, Destiny's going to take off, and then they're going to meet. So there were, there's really kind of two time intervals to worry about. There's the time interval where uh, Jada is moving and Destiny isn't. And so we can work on that. And then, then we can figure out how far apart they are once Destiny starts moving. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna treat that as like a separate problem. Um, okay, so let's get started. Um, and by the way, um, I encourage you to pause the video now, try to solve this problem on your own. Um, here's the constant velocity model that you'll need. And um, we are gonna be doing some unit conversions here, so you should be familiar with that. But pause the video, give it a try, and then restart it. Um, I did get this problem from one of my tutoring uh, students. I, um, I, I, I tutor students in physics and math, and uh, that's where I get my problems from. So uh, here we go. So given, so I'm going to call this like part one. Here's, um, we'll, we'll call this Jada, and I'll just put a J for Jada. And Jada takes off, and the velocity of Jada is uh, given to be 65 miles per hour. Now for the first 10 minutes or so when and they're, well, they're 55 miles apart so for the first 10 minutes the velocity of destiny equals zero and I'll just put for 10 minutes sometimes you have to write things out and then uh, and then after 10 minutes her velocity is towards um, Jada because um, they want to meet in the middle. And so I'll call this destiny, D. And um, so the velocity of destiny is now um, 75 miles per hour. Okay. And uh, what are we trying to find? Uh, how many minutes will Jada be driving? So we want the total driving time for Jada in minutes. And then we want to know how many miles will Destiny tra have traveled? And, and so the way that's phrased, that's it's really asking for a, a distance rather than a displacement. And so that's something you should have, should be familiar with. And, and I'll, I'll go through that uh, when the time comes when we're solving the problem. Um, so I'm just going to put that D for distance for D for destiny, D sub D. And we'll do that in miles. Okay. So, um, oh, that's what we're trying to find. Now let's solve it. Now, 
Um, so what I want to do is I want to figure out, okay, Destiny's just sitting on her fanny eating her breakfast while Jada is moving. And so for 10 minutes. So if we can figure out how far Jada drove in those 10 minutes, we can figure out how far apart they are once Destiny starts moving. Um, or lunch, not breakfast. Uh, okay, so um, let's figure out how far uh, Destiny drove. Now, um, or Jada, I'm sorry. Um, so Jada drove, so the, the distance that, that uh, uh, Jada drove for um, uh, um, for the first ten minutes. Well, it's she she's driving at uh, well, you know, velocity times time is distance if you don't have acceleration, and so um, and you can kind of look at this equation over here, like x minus uh, uh, x naught. That's our Delta X, that's our displacement. So really, we, we are going to calculate the displacement of uh, Jada, and we're just going to call that a distance. Um, nobody's turning around, so it doesn't really matter. So velocity here is, um, what was her? Uh, oh, 65. 65 miles per hour. But, um, and for 10 minutes. Uh, so, 10 minutes. Now, minutes and hours don't cancel. So, I'm going to have to change hours to minutes, or minutes to hours, it doesn't matter. Um, we know that one hour is 60 minutes. And so, when we do this, we get the distance that Jada drove while... Um, Destiny was finishing her lunch was 65 times 10 divided by 60 um, and when you do that you get 10.83 miles so Jada drove 10.83 miles in the time that uh, took uh, Destiny to finish her lunch so how much how far apart are they now so well, they were 55 miles apart. And then I'm going to subtract the 10.83 miles that uh, Jada drove while well, Destiny was finishing lunch. And so now they are now, if you do the math, that they're 44.17 miles apart. So now I'm going to redraw it here. We've got a different situation. Here's the distance apart they are, and um, uh, oh, and that distance is 44.17 miles. And um, and but the velocity of uh, Jada is still 65 miles per hour. I probably should have converted it into miles per minute, but. Um, but that's okay. And then this is the velocity of destiny now is um, 75 miles per hour. And they're going towards each other now. Now, when they collide, well, they're not, hopefully they're not going to crash. But, you know, when they meet, and this is kind of an idealized situation, when they meet, I think you can see that that Destiny's going to go farther because she's going a little bit faster than Jada. So they're probably going to meet somewhere around in here. And this is what we're trying to find, the, the, the distance that Destiny travel. But if they're at the same place, here, here's what I can say. And I'm gonna, um, now I'm going to use this model. I'm going to make this my origin. And I'm going to say for, uh, for Jada... The position that Jada is at is equal to her initial position, which for 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 Jada is zero. Jada is at our new origin, so Jada is at zero, and then uh, plus her her velocity, 
which is 65 miles per hour, uh, times the time that it takes for her to get here. We don't know how much time that is yet, but that's what we're going to solve for. Now we can apply the same model, the constant velocity model, to, um, to destiny. So the position of destiny, it is your destiny, is now she, she starts over here, uh, 44.17 miles away. See, that's the, her position when time equals zero. Okay, and, and then we're going to add to that her velocity. Now, you got to make sure, now, treat this like a velocity. It's in a negative direction. So that's going to be negative 75 miles per hour times time. Now, here's the thing that you've, you've, you've got to understand. When they meet, like, bam, let's say they collide. Um, right here? They're at the same position. In other words, when they are, when they arrive, when they meet in the middle somewhere, the position of Jada is equal to the position of destiny. So this is going to allow me to, to say, oh, well, the position of Jada as a function of time is this. So we'll just leave off the zero. And I'm going to make some room by writing it over here, miles per hour times time. And that's going to be equal to the position that Jada is at, which is 44.17 miles minus 75 miles per hour. Now we want to solve for time. Oops, times time. We want to solve for time because we're looking for the time. That's one of the, the time that Jada was driving. Now, this is the time that Jada was driving after destiny got started. So we're going to have to remember to add 10 minutes to our answer here. But for right now, they, they meet at the same time. So let's solve for time. Uh, I'm going to add this to the other side and factor out the time. So we're going to have time is equal to 65 miles per hour plus 75 miles per hour. Okay, so I just kind of brought this over, and I'm going to add these two together, and that has to equal 44.17 miles. And so now I can solve for time, which I will do, I'll do over here. Um, so, time is equal to uh, 44.17 miles. I'm going to put that over 1. And then we're going to divide by this sum. Well, 65 plus 75, oh, let's see. 5 plus 5 is 10. So it's 140, right? 140. There, really what this is, or, and I don't want to put it as miles per hour here, but what this is, this 140, this is the speed that they're approaching each other at. And, um, you know, I mean, one of them's driving, one of them's driving 65, the other one's driving 75. So it's like they're approaching each other at a rate of 140 miles per hour. Okay, now we want our time to be in minutes, so we're going to have to get rid of the hour. We know that in one hour we have 60 minutes. And look at how the units uh, divide out here. We have miles canceling miles, hours canceling hours, and I'm left with, oh, not miles, that's minutes. I'm left with minutes here, and so that's going to be close to our answer. Um, so uh, let's see. Uh, 44.17 times 60 equals, divided by 140 equals 18.93 minutes, because that's the units we're left with. Now, really what this is, this is how much time Destiny was driving, isn't it?
right? But, uh, and they were driving for the same time, except that in the first part, uh, Jada was driving for 10 more minutes. So the time for Jada is equal to 18.93 minutes plus 10 minutes. So the time that Jada was driving is 28.9. No, we'll just round it off to three significant figures. 28.9, and we'll just round away, round that off, minutes. And there we go. So Jada can now make her, her travel plans. She knows how fast. Now, let's figure out how, how far... Um, uh, um, Destiny drove. And if we want to remember, d distance for Destiny, the distance is just our speed times time. We were going that speed. Or you can think of speed, usually it's, it's like this, speed, which I'll, I'll write as V for velocity, but there's no vector hat on it. It's, it's um, but is is distance over time, right? That's and and that's really average speed, and that's what we're dealing with here. So the distance, the destiny drove. Well, she drove at seventy-five uh, miles per hour. I keep doing that. I don't like that. I like miles per hour. Now. She drove for uh, 18.93 minutes. Now notice, this is for Destiny. Destiny did not drive for 28.9 minutes. Jada did, but Destiny started 10 minutes later. That's why it's 18.93 minutes. And again, we gotta get rid of we know that in 60 minutes, we have one hour. And uh, just to remind you, like, how do I know wh wh where to put the, the, like, you know, over here I put 60 minutes on the top and an hour on the bottom. Here I put one hour on the top and 60 minutes on the bottom. How do I know? Well, I, I, I look and see what I need to cancel out. I need to get rid of hours. So that's why I put hours on the top because hours divided by hours is one, it cancels out. And then here, minutes cancels minutes, and I'm left with miles, that's what I want. So when I do the arithmetic here, uh, 75 times 18.93 divided by 60 equals and I get 23.6625. I'll round that off to 23.7 miles. That's how far Destiny is going to drive, you know, she's after she takes off. So let's look at the whole problem here. And here's the, the problem-solving strategy here uh, that I like to use is that um, sometimes you have a change in behavior during a problem. You have an, uh, an object that is moving um, and then an, uh, another object isn't moving. And then, and then after a time period, uh, the other, both objects are moving or both, you know, the objects can change their motion in some other way. But if that's the case, just, just do the problem in two steps. Like the first time interval, take care of that. Then kind of adjust what you know and then, and then uh, solve the problem from there. So, uh, yeah, anyway, hopefully that all makes sense to you. Uh, again, I am a, a physics tutor, so if you need one, uh, look in the uh, notes for this. There's, uh, there's gonna be a link to a Google Doc that will uh, um, allow you to uh, get in touch with me. And uh, I also have a whole collection of these videos that I, I'm trying to organize them on a, um, on a Google Doc, so, um, so that's in there as well. And uh, so until next time, take care and um, hey, may the net force be with you.